seen it yet we do have an unboxing video on this farmer tech holtz forma g444 and what we're going to do now is do some long hard dry wide cuts with this saw it's got a 25 inch bar this log is roughly 23 24 inches i think what it is the bar length on this is 25 the effective cutting length of it is about 23 and a half inches so it should just barely make this cut um, but welcome back to the channel thanks everybody for subscribing and liking the new subscribers from facebook and from social media uh, we appreciate it we really do uh, i mentioned before in another video that when we reach 100 subscribers we're going to be giving away our our farmstead t-shirt which is what i'm wearing right now it's got our logo on the front it's got georgia grown which is an affiliation we're part of with our fruits and vegetables in the state of Georgia. But uh, we're going to be giving that away when we reach 100 subscribers. Um, but what you're going to see right now is this G444, and we're going to cut this log. But we're also, as a little bonus, is we're going to use the G660 at the same time, and you're going to see the difference between a 70cc and a 92cc saw cutting the same piece of wood side by side. Uh, the 660 is all broke in. Uh, it's got a 36 inch bar on it. It's all broke in. It's running 40 to 1. This is still running 25 to 1 fuel on it. Uh, so it's going to be down on power considering for the fuel that it's going to use which will be 40 to 1. But uh, you will see these two saws running side by side and it will, if you have the question, you know, well, why do I want to use a 70 or 90 cc saw on a big piece of wood. This will show you the difference in the cut speed and the amount of time and effort it takes to make a cut on a big piece of wood like this. And there is a difference. It's just up to you if you wanna spend more or less money or more or less time and effort on running the two different saws. Obviously, there's a weight difference. Um, between the two saws, there's probably 20 pounds weight difference with bars on them. Uh, but there is a big difference in the effort and the time. Time you don't get back. Try to touch the same piece of water, it doesn't happen. You know, you're not gonna get the time back either. But if you do, let me know how you do that because I like to have a lot of time back. So anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna get my helmet on, get my ear protection on, my eye protection, and we'll get going. We're gonna see these two saws go at it first, and then you're gonna see some cookies cut with this saw right here. So hang on just a second. I'll get started and we'll get ready to go.
Well, as you can see, it's not quite as easy as the 660, but it's not the same saw. There, there's a big difference between the two saws. Uh, there's a little bit of difference in price. Farmer Tech and Hulk's Forma, they make it pretty reasonable for you to get into these saws. And if, if you don't want to save money, then you know, spend as much as you want. But if you've, if you've got a lot going on and maybe you, you, you need to get something like this and you were Husqvarna or you were Steel or whatever, you know, it's, it's hard to get the equivalent of this. And you're easily a thousand dollars or more depending on bars and chains and all of that but for the money it's really really hard to beat uh, as you can see this this saw uh, we're just breaking it in it's still running a little fat a little rich but that's what you do with these things you don't want to run them too hard for too long but you do want to heat cycle them quite a bit and that's what we're doing um, but this will give you an idea you know with a 660 with a side-by-side -side comparison you saw that it's it's easy for the 660 to run at a lower rpm to get the same job done quicker with less effort um, and you know through these guys you know you can get into either one of these saws for roughly the same amount of money there's not a whole lot of difference between them um, but you know if you need to cut big wood all the time maybe you don't want to do it with a saw like this if you want to just cut logs up into rounds for firewood and they're this big you definitely want to use the 660 in my mind if you're just cutting trees down as you saw when I did some plunge cuts with this saw uh, my first attempt was failed but um, my last one that I just did I believe with this piece of cookie um, they can handle plunge cuts pretty easily plunge cuts are really hard on the nose of the bar for smaller saws and this saw I think is somewhere around five horsepower the 660 is close to seven but um you know these saws can do a lot of work between the 660 or the 888 or the 444 or any other numbers you want to pick they can all do a fair amount of work uh, but for rounding you know this is probably good for 20 inch trees maybe slightly bigger 22 23 this thing's around 23 or so um, cutting trees down this thing would be fine you know as far as rounding them out it'd take you a little longer but that's where something like a 660 or 90 cc saw or 80 cc saw or even 100 will come in really handy you make quick work for a big job um, but like I said you can't go wrong with with any of their saws I don't believe and for the money they're super hard to beat you spend your money how you want to spend it but anyway uh, that'll about wrap it up we appreciate you for watching. We appreciate you for liking and subscribing and sharing. If you haven't done that, please do that. If you don't like it, you can talk about that too. If you got any comments or suggestions, maybe some tips or something of something we're not doing or showing, you know, please share that in the comments down below. And uh, we appreciate it. We'll answer as quick as we can. And uh, until then, thanks. You guys take care.